For podcasts, um, usually it's sent, like one person sent to a lot of people for promotions or product launch and announcement or even like store updates. So it's just generally to update your customer about different things. This is one example. So they are organics. They sent me like a broadcast message here. They might think that it's a one-to-one -one message, but sometimes it can be just a broadcast by by a business. So they're just sending me a promo code like, hey, winter is here. Uh, so these are some of these counts that you can use 15% percent of our best products. These are code, value one time, and send them a link. To send a broadcast on WhatsApp, right? You very simple. On WhatsApp, go to more options, that's the three dots, go to more options, click new broadcast. Um, and then you can just craft your message, select the mess the the context that you want to send out to, and then you broadcast. Um, but there's limitations to this. The first limitation is that you can only select up to 256 contacts for each broadcast list. And the contacts in each broadcast list need to have your number saved in the address book to receive your message. So this can be quite um, restrictive, right? So let's say if you have spoken to a customer uh, before, but they should never save your con your number, then you might not you might not be able to broadcast to them, even though you have spoken before. So this is actually a, not a very good uh, restriction in WhatsApp. And sometimes, if you want to send products and updates, you want to send you send them one by one. It can also be very time consuming. So that's where you want to have <coughs> different um, broadcast options. So for example, um, Novo Chat, Super Lemon, uh, Stick Flow, Wati. These, these are some of the WhatsApp tools that you can use for uh, doing broadcast, broad, uh, WhatsApp broadcast and automations. So yeah, I, so anyway, full disclosure, um, one of our sub products for Easy Store is actually Novo Chat here. So further down, when we move forward with um, examples on how to set things up. Um, I will actually use Novo Chat as an example. For broadcast, usually it's done like it's seen like this, where you can see a, a di you can set up a different broadcast for a different group with a different message. And to set this up very simple, you just need to create a campaign, fill in the details, select the context. If you actually never um, sync with your store, you actually have to upload through a CSV. So you upload the WhatsApp numbers through a CSV. If you didn't collect a phone number, yeah, you cannot actually use this method because you have to <coughs> reach out to customers on WhatsApp only if they provide phone number. So if I want to upload, I can actually create a campaign here. So the campaign is essentially a broadcast and I can create a campaign. So at this point, I can choose to upload a CSV. And for the CSV, usually there's a standard template they need to follow, which is phone number and message. So this is a template that you want to follow. So once you have uploaded your CSV in, and then or you can select your existing leads, then what you will do next is you actually send the WhatsApp messages. So back here, once you have selected your, your numbers, either through uh, uploading them on CSV or pulling them from Easy Store, like existing contacts, you can set, select, a, select a message. So for this, this is actually select template messages. So template messages, because of WhatsApp, right, they are quite strict. So if you are actually sent doing your own like custom message, especially for broadcast, and if WhatsApp deems that it's too spammy, it can be uh, banned and then you have to request for review. So usually for us, we try to err on the side of caution. We go with like, more standard messages that is sort of proven to work by some of our other customers who have used it and have not be, be been banned before. And in each template message, you can fill in a placeholder. So like the contact name, the shop name, appointment date. This is the point where you customize your message. So when the customer receives the message, even though it's a broadcast from your site, when the customer receives it, they feel that it's it's a one-to-one -one message. So after you have sent, you preview your message, make sure everything is correct, and then you launch and you send it out. And I think one important part about broadcast, right, is that you don't want to sort of spam spam it because you might num yeah, I think a lot of you know that WhatsApp can be banned, can be thing as spam. Speed throttling is actually quite important when it comes to uh, WhatsApp broadcast. You can actually edit the message sending speed before you you, you blast your broadcast. 
So there's like different options. You have fast, you have medium, you have slow. And this allows the provider to know how many messages you want to send per hour. So for example, you have a list of 400, right? In the list of 400, if you select fast, you will send all 400 within the same one hour. But maybe you will, ch you will chunk it up even more to maybe every minute you send how much. But let's say you want to be safe. And it's in no hurry, it's not very urgent that you want to send this uh, broadcast, it, you can go for slow. So in 400, if you send 40, hour, 40 messages per hour, it will take 10 hours to actually send the entire the entire um, contact list. So this will, this is actually the most recommended because they, when, you, when WhatsApp sees this, WhatsApp would think that you are just sending a slow broadcast to a bunch of people. And as more people reply you, the the broadcast to reply ratio is better and this would tell tell whatsapp that you're not a spammer 